Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you like my previous videos. Before we start with the today's session, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for upcoming projects. So my today's topic is like how we can build a simple task using automation anywhere and how we can schedule our task. So this is my automation anywhere screen. I will go with my first project. These are the categories of command which I will be using for this entire journey of automation anywhere to show you and these are command database email automation error handling and here if you click you can see there are sub processes this is excel insert keystrokes loops log of file launch website pdf and many more so I will show you one basic we are taking a message box I will type here hello everyone I will save it don't forget to save every time when you are doing any changes or when you are building anything so here I will going to save my projects name it is like message box I will save it and I will run it you can see the pop-up it's showing whatever we have mentioned there now the question is like why this pop-up is not closing uh, once again we have to edit it suppose if I want to add something hello everyone welcome to my channel this is called close message box after five seconds you have to tick here and you have to put your your how much time you need to keep this more i will keep it till five seconds to show you once again i will save it and i will run this you can see there is a closing pop-up is showing and it will get closed Hope you understand this. Let me move to my next. You can see this is my task. Whenever you will build a task, it will get saved here. So I will build this new task. I won't use that same task. Now I will use if else statement in order to show you how it exactly work. Uh, inside if else statement you can see there are so many sub commands are there from here I will take a variable but I forget one thing I just want to tell you once again like before we need to do if else statement as I am going to show you how to use variable I will pass my variable first I will define which we tell this is my variable manager tab where we used to define any variable variable is is something which you are defining in your bot like credential file path any folder name these are the things so I will add here it is showing name I will add my name as where one I will give the value as hundred and this select button it will always be value I won't I will say I will just show you later read from text file but as of now I'm just saving it I have already passed this variable if you click here you can see so now I'm going to take this variable here you can see this is if condition and there are so many sub steps so many things are there so as of now I just need this variable so I will go here I need to edit this one this is variable tab you cannot type anything you have to click F2 which will show you what you have defined and there are so many predefined variable in build in build variables in automation anywhere which will be using afterward I will show you one by one 
see you can see there are file data columns file name folder names hour you can give month time for excel see excel column excel cell and everything so here i will insert variable one which i have passed here operator it will give it will show you what exactly we need to do with this variable so i will select as of now it's like equal to and i will take the value as fixed variable my fixed variable is 100 i will mention here i won't take any variable here i will just make it fixed and i will save it in order to see the result i need to put one message box over here and message box i will mention if my variable is equal to 100 the result is correct but i have to also see if my result is not equal to 100 what is the result so i will add else tab here make it up I will add one message box I will mention it incorrect now I will save it and this task I will give if else what now I will run see the pop-up is showing like my variable what I have defined and the variable which we have fixed it, it's equal to. That's why the result is correct. Now I will show you if the result is not correct, how we are getting the output. Suppose my fixed variable, I'm making it 101. Now I'm run it. See what exactly we are getting if my variable is not equal to means what is my variable is more than what I have defined now the else command is coming which is showing me incorrect suppose I want to change suppose I will take do not include and my fixed variable I will make it 100 if I need to run this let me check what exactly we are getting incorrect suppose it's showing like if the value is equal to it it is incorrect why it is showing incorrect because we haven't changed the message one so we need to change I will mention it ignore if my value value is equal do not include then I will run it see it's showing ignore if the value is equal we should not include if the value is equal now I'm moving forward to the next step see we have two process here if else bot and my message box which we created now now my next topic is like how we can use schedule we have to schedule because in day to day process when you will be running lot of bot you need to schedule your bot in a particular time so that you don't have to run those bot manually so i will click this process whatever you want to run you need to click this process and see below there are three categories let me give you some detail this is property where you can see the file name when it is created what is the status now what is the issue log and what are the things this is called scheduler scheduler is like launch task it's showing one time and please select the schedule it will always be one time 
and this is trigger it will show you what we need to trigger i will show you i won't tell what exactly trigger do scheduler you need so now we need to schedule you need to click the uh, bot which you build now you go to one time i will give my start time it's showing one and all one i will make it one two and the date will be same i will just save it yeah my password keep watching you will see the result see the bot automatically run and now it get close my process is done this is the work of a schedule now i am going to show you what is the work of a trigger what exactly trigger we need to do let me take trigger we have window file folder performance process service email message these are the things which we will be doing we need to trigger we need to monitor that is called trigger suppose i'm taking for your reference is folder before that i need to build one dummy folder for you let me make it test it's a i think i have another one okay test automation anyway this is a black folder i will pass a command i will show you how it work i will click here i will take my i will just map it this is my a now the action action what i need to do when any file is delete what i need to do when folder is created when folder is delete i will take this one when folder is delete what will happen see i am already clicking this bot i will save it now i will show you what will happen this is my folder suppose if i am deleting the folder what exactly it is working you can see the process got worked because we are passing the command like if we are deleting that folder it will automatically work this is triggering i will show you once again suppose this time i will delete it i'm taking if else bot will show you file let me create one file we'll create one bot automation anyway suppose my file what i need to pass here suppose let me save one excel file this one so, suppose this is my excel file now what will happen now we'll go here now i'm clicking this file i just mapped it what i need to pass here when the file is deleted i will save it now we need to see how this work suppose i am deleting this file See, the bot automatically works. The trigger is making us aware. Like if we are deleting our files or if you are deleting any folder or whatever you have passed, it will work in that way only. So this is for today. The next session will come up with some new things with some excel manipulation hope you like my video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you